So the main problem that most Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans had with the previous regime is their stubbornness when it came to offensive linemen who weren't cutting mustard, right? Where guys would be handed jobs in training camp, and even if they showed poorly in camp or preseason, especially regular season, uh, and it's clear that someone potentially could do it better because they weren't doing the job, the coaching staff, whether it's O-line coach, O-C, head coach, etc., they would dig in their heels, they wouldn't make chains, changes, and it'd be like, ow, 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 when's it going to be my turn? The definition of insanity, doing the same thing again, expecting a different outcome. Now, I fully understand it, right? Uh, offensive linemen, you need chemistry, you need time to work together, and also the next guy up could potentially be worse. We've seen that many times uh, in the Vikings history, especially along the offensive line. But uh, part of it, too, is ego, is, hey, I deem this guy the starter, and we're going to see it through. Because if I change now, that means that I was wrong. That's going to bruise my ego and go from there. And we saw that with Dakota Dozier. We saw that with Tom Compton. We saw that with Ole Udo last year. We saw Mike Remmers, and we saw it with Pat Alfline, and we've seen it with Garrett friggin' Bradbury, right? Uh, but it was clear that Kevin O'Connell, Quasey, the coaching staff, they, they believe, Mama, I can change him in year four, that, hey, Bradbury, Yes, he had had been he had the trifecta of being the worst graded PFF pass blocking center in the league three years running, uh, but he has some potential. Great movement skills, good in the run game, good leader, good communicator, etc. And Kevin O'Connell during the offseason really backed up his guy. This is Mar March 30th. Uh, Kevin O'Connell believes Vikings O-line is set except for right guard competition. So, obviously, that'd be Darisaw and O'Neal at tackle, Ezra Cleveland at left guard, and then Garrett Bradbury at center, who he deemed as a lock. Now, part of that could have been bluffing with their muffin that was in the middle of free agency as well as heading into the draft. So, maybe part of that was smoke. Uh, but part of it, I, I think that he actually did think that Garrett Bradbury was going to be that guy and so far in training camp it's been ups and downs fits and starts uh, i think that uh, bradbury has gotten better uh, in team drills uh, after a very poor showing a very poor start also him against harrison phillips one-on-ones uh, it's not good uh, it's not great and kevin o'connell stated that the center position is open uh mark craig uh, start tribune O'Connell says that there's still competition at center, says Bradbury has made good, uh, has been good in the run game, but amidst some struggles in pass protection, says he believes he is strong enough but needs better t technique consistently. Uh, Thomas and Pioneer Press. However, Vikings uh, coach KOC said there's still competition at the blah, 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 and isn't ready to say that Garrett Bradbury is definitely his guy for week one. So th this is a, a walking back of the comments that he made earlier in the offseason, and I love it. I mean, frankly... I, I respect Kevin O'Connell for this because uh, previous regimes would dug in. It's like Bradbury is the guy. He's going to be the guy. Uh, end of discussion. But uh, the way that the Vikings have maneuvered after the first pad of practice where Garrett Bradbury was ragged all by Harrison Phillips, both in 101s and 11-11s, all of a sudden Chris Reed, uh, the pride of Mankato State University Community College, the free agent pickup from the Colts, who primarily has played guard throughout his career, does have some center uh, experience in preseason. All of a sudden, he, uh, Chris Reed, who had been getting some first-team right guard and second-team left guard snaps, all of a sudden, second-team center. Second team center. So uh, I do think that they are planning on uh, Chris Reed to uh, potentially take over Bradbury if he falters. And uh, Thomason. Uh, Vikings OC Wes Phillips said that in Chris Reed adjusting to center after playing mostly guard, the keys are the snap and communication. He said Reed isn't shy, so talking isn't an issue. Chris has shown mentally that he knows the game. And like we mentioned, he's had uh, a fistful of snaps uh, at center in preseason uh, with the Dolphins, Jaguars, Panthers, etc. So uh, he's not exactly a neophyte. And I, I do think that the Vikings are hedging here. Uh, if Bradbury falters uh, the rest of training camp, if he doesn't look good in preseason, I don't think that they'll be afraid to plug in Chris Center, uh, uh, Chris Reed at center. Nailed it. Chris Center. We'll, we'll, we'll change his name to that uh, if and when he takes over the job. So I, I do believe O'Connell when he says that the uh, competition is actually open as opposed to previous regimes where they just dug in and just like, he's our guy. He's going to be our guy. Uh, come hell or high water, he's going to be out there because it's my ego, my reputation in line. So you do love to see that. Uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Kevin O'Connell uh, says that the center competition is still open. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.